Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. My name is Brandon. I am your host. And joining me today, I have Ilse. Ha ha ha. Game over. And I have Noah. I am Error. I, was like, I knew that one was coming. I definitely knew that one. Uh, it was either uh, that or I was going to be like, Oh, do you know Bagu? I can help you with that. Actually, I should have gone with that one. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I Am Error is a classic one. Every, uh, you know, a lot of, That's a well-known one. Uh, Except but he isn't really an error. He's not. He's definitely not. He's Because um, there's another character later on that says Error knows a secret. Which is also a lie, by the way. He doesn't say anything else if you go... <laughs> At least Wait, I don't... no, he does. Does he? If you go back to him, does he say something else? Yeah, he says something else. Oh, well, I wasn't going back to him, so... Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> well, you know, I figured it out without him. I don't give a shit. Whatever his well, secret was... it's not was, that hard to figure out. wasn't yeah. that important. <laughs> uh, but the game we're talking about is, is the game that we played uh, this time around, and that is Zelda 2. The Adventure of Link. Um, picked by Ills. Sure. Um, Zelda mm. 2. Not The Legend of Zelda 2, by the way. Nope. Uh, although it is in in the Legend of Zelda series. Um, it is not called... It's the yes. only game that doesn't have The Legend of Zelda um, in the title. Um, Does Link's but... crossbow training have it? Wow. That... <laughs> a canon game. <laughs> Got not him. a spinoff. Not a Got fucking spinoff, bro. Come on. <laughs> He throwing that shit at me. Mm. We're talking about the fucking mainline canon series here, all right? I don't talk about that spinoff shit. Get it, get out of my face. Um, this game was developed by Nintendo EAD, uh, published by Nintendo, and it was released in uh, January 14th in 1987 in Japan. Um, funny enough, Zelda 2 was released in Japan before Zelda 1 made it to America. So they got... Uh, two Zelda games before we even got one. But we did get both games <laughs> in America. Um, Is and... that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be dumb if this game never came out in America. True. Um, Better to get it than not to get it at all. Yeah. Yes, always. Even if it's uh, yeah. questionable. Um, <laughs> so Zelda 2 was released on the NES uh, originally, of course. Uh, well, I guess technically the Famicom. Uh, but yeah, it was released on the NES, um, then later, uh, was released on the Game Boy Advance as part of the Game Boy Advance, um, NES collection that they were doing at the time. I had that version. Did you? Oh yeah, I bought that version. Nice. Uh, it was also part of the Legend of Zelda collection on the GameCube, um, that had Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Um... And now it's, you know, also on Virtual Console, on the Wii, although that's dead, and uh, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's on the Wii U and maybe the 3DS. I'm pretty uh, sure it's on the Wii U, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty of ways to play this. Also, it's on the NES uh, game selection for NES Online that you get for uh, being a, um, a Nintendo Online subscriber for this Nintendo hmm. Switch, so... Uh, that's they, why I played it. I haven't that's checked. I it did too. they give you? Did they have like the extra mode like they did with the first game, where yeah, it's make it easier? Yes, I did not play that one though. Okay. Uh, what but, extra yeah, mode? There's the SP version of it on um, on the Switch Online. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the SP version lets you start off with um, I think it's everything leveled up to eight. Uh, what the like fuck? It's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, you I don't even get to level eight on anything. You, no, I got to level eight on um, on everything. I, apparently, level nine is the max level, but I didn't get to level nine on anything. But I got oh, no. I it you. doesn't. It doesn't actually let you go beyond uh, eight on each. Yeah, uh, it's stat. only eight. Um, that's yeah. Oh, I thought it was nine. I mean, you can level up when you get to eight, but it won't in actually increase that's, anything. Well, I got yeah. everything to level eight. I, I didn't. Get, I only. I got to seven, seven, and six attack power. I was very good at uh, utilizing um, the fact that when you beat a dungeon, you get a free level up, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, I did the same. It was like, you would level up to make sure you let, then you'd be needing, like, another four or five thousand. You beat a boss, you automatically go up yeah, a level. Yeah, so I was mm -hmm, making yeah. sure to utilize that. I was gr I did grind a little bit here and there just I to make sure that 
just I to make grinding. sure that by the time I got to the boss, like I was. Oh, just it wasn't barely... enjoyable grinding. No. It wasn't enjoyable, no. but I had to do it. <laughs> but I mean, I hate all grinding. But yeah, I don't, oh, okay. I don't grind. <laughs> yeah, I'm near the end of the game. wasn't super super hard to do because you got a little bit more experience, but still, it was a little annoying. Um, but anyway, uh, Zelda Two is um, it's a little bit of uh, actually before we get into that. Um, Ills, like I mentioned, you picked this game, so I want to ask you, um, you know, why you picked this game, if you want to talk about that and say, uh, sure, you know. Um, yeah, I, I picked this game because I, I own it, I've, I've always wanted to finish it, I've always heard things about how hard it is, and they were right. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like one of those games that's constantly talked about, not everybody has finished it, so I wanted to be one of the people who finished it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you made me one of those people too, because... I had played this game. I, I had started it. I've probably started it like three or four times, and I would yeah. I would yeah, always same. get like a dungeon or two in and say, "Yeah, fuck it," right? Um, so yeah, finally, I got to the first time I played it was when uh, that collector's edition on the GameCube with the of Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Majora's Mask. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think the same thing um, because I never had the original cart, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. um, although it's one of only two gold carts, Zelda, Legend of Zelda 1 and uh, Zelda 2 are the only two Whoa, cards. hold up. Ocarina of Time has a gold cart. What are I'm you talking about on the NES, bro. Okay. Um, so there was only two gold <laughs> NES games. Um, but yeah, I think that's the first time I played it too. Uh, but yeah, that's a good reason to pick the game, I think, because, I mean, same thing for me. I never beat it until now. Um, so now finally getting down to, to actually sit through it and grip my teeth a little bit and say, fuck it, I'm going to have to beat this game. So, finally did it. Check it off the bucket list. Thanks, Yay. Else. Yep, that's what I'm here for. Um, so, Zelda 2 is... It's not a typical Zelda game. Now, I, I will say, you know, you think of... Basically, Zelda has, like, two formulas nowadays, right? There's the two. There's the 2D and the 3D. Mm -hmm. And a Zelda game that's 2D, it has a top-down view... Uh, and a 3D game, you know, is a behind-the-back, you know, 3D action exploration game, right? Yeah. Uh, 2D being, like, Link to the Past, 3D being, like, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Link to the Past, the original, I mean, the original Legend of Zelda laid the groundwork for that, for that camera angle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Link, Link to the Past and a Link's Awakening, every single 2D Zelda uh, game has that camera view now. You know, even as recent as uh, Link Between Worlds mm -hmm. uh, on the 3DS. Um, and even Link's Awakening remake. Um, so, you know, that's that's just how it is, right? There's two different formulas of Zelda. Well, there's actually three because this game um, is is the only one that's that's in its kind, you know. I um, mean, there's actually four because you forgot Link's crossbow training again. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to talk about the CDI ones while we're at it? Is that, yeah, is that what we're it. going for here? Yeah, I'll pick it next time. Don't tempt me. Oh, you don't, will not. Don't tempt him, please. You will, you will not. <laughs> I know you Don't. won't. <laughs> All right, um, have mercy, God. Digging Jesus. your own grave. God, please. Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm not afraid. I know you're not going to do that to yourself. Um, I did this to myself. You, you, uh, that would yeah. Yeah, be worse. That would be way worse mm. than this. <laughs> um, at least Nintendo had had some sort of involvement in, in this. Um, you know, as hard as it is, it's not a, a piece of hot fucking garbage. Um, but this game is different because it's side scroller uh, for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of bl it's a weird blend of during during the action sequences and when you're in towns and stuff. Um, you know, it's a side scroller, and outside of that, it's like a map. Not really. It's, I guess it's kind of like cl looks like classic Zelda a bit, but it mm -hmm. works more like um, a Final Fantasy game. Yeah, something like that. You know, so the it also it also takes a it little tried bit of, to uh, be a pl action platformer and an RPG at the same a, time. Right, it does mix RPG elements into it as well, uh, which you know some Ze pe people go back and forth all the time. Like, is Zelda an RPG? Not really. No, it's not. In the, in the typical sense. How dare you. Games. Well, it depends like on what your sense of an RPG is. Like, RPG is grinding, leveling up, having a story, turn-based battle system, or a, yeah. or some sort of battle system in that way. But most Zelda um, games you would define as like an action-adventure game. Yeah. Not a an RPG. But this game definitely has RPG elements, like straight up. Yeah. Um, it's the most RPG of the Zeldas. Yeah. 
Yes. Because you level up, uh, you have experience points, um, and by leveling up, you get stronger. Uh, you increase your defense, your magic, or your attack. But um, never your attack range. Never your attack range, which sucks. Definitely so bad. sucks. It is so bad. Everything outranges you in this game. Everything. <laughs> e everything. Absolutely everything, everything except for, like, the slimes. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the slimes, now, you know, like, uh, like Zelda 1, when you have full health, you shoot a beam out of your sword as like a bonus. Like, hey, bro, you got full health. You're as strong as you can get. Shoot a beam. That beam will only kill the weakest of the enemies like the slimes. It's so fucking useless. I don't <laughs> understand it. Like, well, you can... Yeah. You only have it for like when you have full health. And you lose your lives every second in this game. Yeah. Like, <laughs> at least give me something useful for the short amount of time that I have it. But no, you have to give me a piece nope. of dog shit. It's like rubbing it in at that point. Yeah, because the enemies have, like, so many of the enemies have, like, projectiles or long-range weapons. Yes. Or, and like, they're, incredible they defense. Move, yeah, yeah. They, like, no, they, like, especially in the beginning, they have a lot of HP. They take a lot of hits to take down. They move more, much more frantically than you do, faster than you. They attack faster than you. They have longer rage, and they hurt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, and, that's the and, and it's, yeah, and one of the most common soldiers has a shield, the Dark Nut, and he blocks constantly. Everything. Everything. You have to, you have to cheese your way to defeat that guy Absolutely. every time. You have to jump, jump attack slash. every like, single time. I'm just like going towards him, just hitting A and B, like jumping and slashing and like holding yeah. down to get hit. No, that's then. the trick. You have to jump attack him. That's the only way to actually damage him. But you can't down thrust on him either, because no, that doesn't I mean, work. You can do it regularly, but it just sucks. Oh, I mean, if you want to lose half of your life, yeah, yeah you can do it that way. <laughs> but that's the thing; it, it's it's so it's like, and he's the most common enemy. <laughs> you see one him every, every yeah. time, like most in every palace, yeah. In, yeah, in all the all the different palaces. I mean, that's the thing, right? This game is notable for its its difficulty, and and it's hard, and it's hard yeah. for. But, the wrong reasons too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's known for its difficulty, but it's not difficult like. Oh, it's like uh, just any game that it would challenge you to like actually think, prepare, do the attack you're supposed to, go for a pattern, whatever. It's unfairly difficult. Like, mm -hmm. there's no way, there's no proper way to fight them. You have to like cheese it. That's the, the, you have a to lot of the to. enemies. Yeah. There, yeah. I mean, there's some, you know, like the guys who toss the boomerangs, the red dudes, that you can kind of like, not the boomerangs, but like the yeah. nunchuck or. Tomahawks or whatever yeah. it is, or axes. Well, like the wiz robes, you reflect their spells at them. But yeah, those guys are fine. Uh, you yeah, know, I don't mind fine. those dudes. Yeah. You know, it's like, whatever. Because they're like a gimmick kind of enemy. Like, you can't get close to them because they always spawn far away, and then once you get close, they teleport away, and they just shoot magic at you. And so you use the reflect spell, which is kind of what it's there for. And it's all it's there for. Whereas with the other fucking enemies, it's just like... I, I'm gonna get my ass beat before I even damage this guy. <laughs> yeah. And it gets harder as you go. The last damn dungeon has some of the strongest goddamn enemies in it, and it mm. sucks. And some of the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> Those oh my jumping God. fucking knights. I don't well, understand the style how. <laughs> how? Like, what? I, I Like, at a certain point, I was just running past them. Like, I was yeah. like, no, I, I'm not doing this. I was too. I was like, I'm near the end of the game. I'm not dealing with these. Like, I, I'm not, I don't give a shit about leveling up now at this point. So I'm just going to run. Yeah. Like, or there was one that was like in a hallway, and I was like, "All right, I just need to get over him." And as long as I get over him, I'm just gonna get out of here and run. Well, at that point, I was just like putting shield on and then running through him. Like, hit me once, and then I'll run through you, and that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, yeah, and also one more thing I want to add: even when you get hit, you get hit. Not only do you have the classic Castlevania knockback that pushes you back, and you can fall down a pit if you're in the wrong spot and mm -hmm. instantly die. But you have no invincibility frames. You have a few. So you, you have can, a little bit. Oh, yeah, a like a bit. couple. But they can combo the fuck out of you if you get caught up in a like a multiple. Oh enemies. yeah, sure. They, yeah. I mean, they're, they you do have some, but it's it's not gracious. It doesn't help. It doesn't like, help that it, much because you have to recover from the knockback. So it kind of exactly. cuts, uh, cuts the amount of time that it's useful. Exactly. Yeah, that knockback is a really frustrating it, you know it's just like castlevania where you get knocked back when you get hit and there's mm -hmm. parts with like bridges that like if you get hit you fall in them and just instantly die 
Oh, yeah. And holy fuck yeah. is that frustrating. So, like, it doesn't give you enough time to realize that you got hit and damaged and, like, try to reposition yourself to fight the enemy again. You're, like, you're Dude. in a bad spot, so you have to spend most of your time trying to, like, get your footing back. And then by the time you've done that, you've already gotten hit again. Dude, 90% of the time where you're you're on, like, a place with, like, a bridge or lava or something where you can get mm -hmm. knocked into... The enemies will just like you have the worst enemies ever like coming at you like mm -hmm. fucking Medusa head ass like dragon oh, the horses and stuff. Fucking, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Horse and like dragon. they hit you like you'll be like jumping towards the edge of the screen And then all of a sudden they pop out before you even get to react you're mid-air already and then they hit you You knock back you're in the lava you're dead Yeah, mm -hmm. you're like great and when cool. you die you get spawned all the way back at the fucking beginning Well, well you have three <laughs> if lives. you get a game over. Yeah, you have three lives and if which the only they Zelda do game not last. Have lives, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you get three lives if you die or you lose all three. You go back to the beginning of the game. Now you get to keep all your power ups and your items. Like if you're leveled up, the there's there, the drawback, which is some bullshit. Um, not only does it kick you back to the start of the game and you have to backtrack all the way back to where you are. Um, any any experience points you had going towards your level go back to zero. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that is stupid. Considering you get like ten or thirty every time you kill an enemy, or sometimes fifty if you get a bag. Well, near the end of the game, you're uh, getting a hundred or so. Well, yeah, a hundred. But well, if you, you kill a knight, you, you know. if you want to spend five minutes killing a knight, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, when you need about 7,000 or 8,000 experience points to get a, a level, and you fucking getting 10s and 30s and 50s, or one, in the odd chance you go for the stronger ones, 100s. Gotta find those yeah, bags. Yeah, 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 that's, uh, that's not nice. It's, it's, it's very, uh, demotivating. Yeah, and oh, it's a yeah. pain in the ass. It's a real pain I mean, in the ass. Yeah, I mean, leveling up is already, like, pretty stringent. Like, there's so much grinding you have to do after mm -hmm. a certain point. Yeah. That... Like, just losing all your experience after you die is so demoralizing. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Especially when you were close. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's extremely frustrating. It's really a bad uh, choice of design on their part. Um, I mean, just just way. the fact that you have to go back all the way back to the first fucking starting yeah. point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a double time. kick in the nuts. It's the kick yeah. to both nuts at the same time, yeah. simultaneously. It wouldn't be that bad, but in the overworld, when you traverse... You get random mobs spawn, and like if you touch them, then you go and they bring you into this area, like a 2D area. So like when you're in the overworld, it's like top-down Zelda. You move in the world map like any like RPG you would suspect. Mm -hmm. And then you get an encounter, you go into the 2D mode, which is like the, no the normal game, I guess. And you have to either go all the way to the left or all the way to the right, but you get attacked by enemies at the same time. And yeah. usually, it's not... Good, because it happens way too frequently, and in the beginning especially, a lot of the enemies are pretty tough. Like, once you yeah. get accustomed to the- once you get, like, levels, it's not as bad going through those. But, like, in the beginning, you just get overwhelmed. Yeah, that gets worse later on. <laughs> well, later, later on. Especially all the way on, to the Great yeah. Palace. Holy shit. Yeah. It's so yeah. bad. Oh my god, just trying to go through that mountain. Yeah, it's really annoying. To yeah. get to the Great Palace. Yeah, the fact that, like, it's okay that you get into, like, a when you get into an uh, enemy encounter, you go into, mm. like, a separate uh, screen or whatever. But mm. the fact that, like, if you die in that encounter, you restart in that screen blows my mind. Like, I don't get it. Why yeah, don't you I... just start me off on the world fucking map? Why do I have to do this over again? Yeah, that is it's stupid. It's so bewildering. Yeah, if... and the only time, actually, I found out in the game, the only time if you get a game over that doesn't send you back to the beginning of the game is the Great Palace, the yeah. last one in the game. Mm -hmm. If you, you get game over in that palace, they start you yeah, at the beginning of that palace, which is mm -hmm. the biggest one in the game, which is annoying, hmm. but yeah. at least you don't have to go to the start. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, man, that's that part's annoying. And I mean, they give you like tools that make it so you can get through the overworld faster. Um, if you when you have to restart from the beginning, yeah, which I like because yeah. like yeah. initially the world seems like it's huge and yeah. like going through like Death Mountain and all these other fucking uh, areas, the swamp. It seems mm -hmm. like it takes so long to traverse, but like after you get the hammer and the raft, I'm like yeah. oh shit, I'm I'm set. I can go. I can get through this map in like five seconds, basically. Yeah, exactly. Which is which it's, is nice. but you still get encounters way too oh like, yeah too way too many time. too often. 
You just gonna stay. They could have the reduced path. it a little bit. It's literally like you—you uh, can, you can walk for five or seconds. Or they should have made it so you can, They should have made it so you can like actually fucking run away from them because like yeah. they'll—they're they, faster than you. They'll chase you down. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. they're definitely faster than you. Yeah, you can't get away from them if you—if you want to. Like, I mean, if you if you stay on the road, then you don't yeah, get stay on the road. I mean, you still get disrupted. You go into a screen, but there's no enemies. Yeah, it's but so it's pointless. still it's like a, what's so stupid. pointless? Yeah, why the fuck even? <laughs> just, just every once in a while, you'll get lucky, and a fucking fairy will pop up. And if you if you're fast enough to grab that fairy, then then you 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 feeling real lucky at that at that point. <laughs> it's weird that they even spawn because like when you're walking on the water, enemies don't spawn. So why do they do just do that. I don't get it. When you're walking on the road, yeah, they should. They, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you're walking on the road, enemies should just shouldn't spawn. Yeah, Whatever. I agree. Because what's the point of making you go into an empty battlefield just to walk to the left or right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a waste strange. of time. Um, but outside of the palaces, which to me are the best parts of the game, I, I really like the palaces. Oh yeah, yeah, the palaces um, are the best. Yeah, best music I mean, in the best, best music gameplay. and like a lot of the designs for the palaces were cool. I enjoyed them, except for very nitpicky stuff. But I'll go into that in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but the I... the good thing about the 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 palace is that even if you die in a palace, like it, your experience is kind of saved because you already got something, right? You probably got a key right. or you probably got an item, so yeah. it actually feels satisfying compared to like a lot of other parts of the game, like yeah. Death mm. Mountain for per se. God, so that part is awful. That's the part where I would quit half the time where I played it before. Um, but I, I just want to mention too, when you're when you're in the overworld, you've, your your main goal is to find the dungeons, uh, the palaces. I mean, um, because we didn't even really mention this, but this game is a direct sequel to the original Legend of Zelda um, in the in the storyline in the canon. <laughs> that yep. is known as the official Zelda timeline. Uh, this is the sequel to the first Zelda. So he plays the mm -hmm. same Link in that uh, that was in that game, but he's a little bit older now. And Princess Zelda has fallen under a sleeping spell. So I don't know how or why. <laughs> not sure either. But the only way to do it is to get uh, another piece of the Triforce. The um, third piece, yeah. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. So it's up to Link. You start off and Zelda's fast asleep and you got to find uh, six different um stones and place them no in the... wait you already have the stones you bring them to the temple yeah he means yeah, 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 yeah. you have you to have put to the stones in the tablets stones in yeah the, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the temples and yeah. then finally get the triforce piece well then you have to do the great palace and then get the triforce mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um and that's basically it i mean simple story uh, there's no Ganon. Ganon only shows up if you get a game over. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Somehow gets get a... revived when you die. <laughs> yeah. If you die, uh, well, Ganon I mean, gets, comes back. The enemies like want your blood to resurrect Ganon, which is the whole thing. Right. Yeah. That's... The enemies are trying to kill you. They're they're all underlings of Ganon who want to resurrect him, and if you die, they get to do that. So. Yeah. If you uh, read the instruction manual, they go into it a little bit. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's neat that this is a, a direct sequel to the original Zelda. I do like that, mm -hmm. um, and that this game it kind of sets up some things for like future Zelda games as well, um, which is which was kind of cool because now we didn't mention this yet, but there are like towns or villages that are, that are throughout the game. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the neat things is all the all the towns are are named after like different characters that show up in different Zelda games later on. Um, mm -hmm. You have like the town of Darunia and the town of um, of like Saria, and so isn't there a town of Rudo? Yep, there's a town of Rudo as well. Uh, so there's you know towns of all the like different characters that show up, like the sages and stuff that show up in different Zelda games. Um, so it's almost like in this game now the the NES Legend of Zelda, the original one, and then this game take place like really late in the Zelda storyline where like yeah, apparently just, it's at the end. <laughs> yeah, and they just kept taking steps back <laughs> constantly, Nintendo mm -hmm. did, um, with their Z Zelda. Oh, this one's the first one. No, this one takes place before that, and they just kept yeah. doing it. Um, but it's cool to see, like, you know, if you think about it, like, these town names are named, like, all after the sages that come in later games, but are technically prequels. So it's like these towns were named after them, in a way. 
I mean, know? I'm sure it wasn't planned that way, but I'm I don't think it was planned that way, but it's kind of a cool thing to, yeah. to look at. Um, the towns themselves are, are helpful because almost every town you get a spell when you show up. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to like complete a little side quest, like save a child or find a, a random that thing. That was so fucking random. <laughs> <laughs> I love the image of fucking Link holding a child holding, above his head. Yep, just holding up a child <laughs> over his head. Is it like an item? Oh my god. Yeah. That was great. Um, I I did like that part, like you like you get to interact with the towns and stuff. Even though like the townsfolk were kind of really just there, not really that. Well, almost besides the ones that you like are that there for the specific you. quest. Yeah. Very rarely, um, sometimes there'd be one in the house that would try to tell you a clue, uh, mm -hmm. but a lot of them were just like, "Hello." Yeah, that's yeah, it. Or, or <laughs> but please save there was... Hyrule, please. <laughs> or turn into a bat and randomly attack yeah, you. That yeah, that would be annoying too. Well, that was that. I liked that part because that that was in the abandoned town, right? The desert. Well, no, that wasn't the deserted. Uh, that could happen was in, in like any in, town. It was in a lot of towns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, it only happened to me in one town. I thought that well, was. Well, be a careful who you talk there. to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, supposedly like there's like a minion uh, Ganon's minions in disguise. But there was a couple of times where I'm like. It's some fucking Simon's Quest bullshit, where you have to go into a house and crouch in front of a fucking, uh, or press B in front of the fucking table. A table? Oh. I think there was like a mirror under the table. Like a or mirror or something. Like, yeah. there's no indication, there's no sprite, there's, does it look exactly the same I, uh... as any other house? And you go there and press fucking B on that specific table and that brings, gives you the item. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to figure that out? Yeah, I never got that spell. Which is fucking weird because that's the healing spell that I never got, so I had a the hard life time spell. in this game. Yeah, I've I I've like seen like spell. other that people great. play that, so I knew about it, but yeah. I would have yeah. never fucking found that out. I, and I never did. <laughs> and then yeah. there was another one, which was actually wasn't as bad, but you can enter a house through the chimney. Yes. Like you, you get, use uh, your you jump spell to jump on rooftops. Thrust. Yeah, you get the upgrade. Yeah. you need to you get the upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I like that, even though that was obscure too, but that was not as bad as the fucking table. Like that table one was just like, Jesus yeah. Christ. One I of my main issues is that when you get the items, there's no like description of what the item does. Um, yes. So I yeah, still so don't. It doesn't I still even don't give know what the like, glove does. Uh, it, uh, hold on. I. <laughs> Neither do you. No, I do. I do. I forgot. Um, I think is the glove the one that lets you break the blocks. That's right. Yes, you can down yeah. throw us to the blocks when you get the glove. No, yeah. the down thrust is the blocks. No, no you still no. can't break it if you don't have the glove. Yeah. Wait, you the, need the glove to break the blocks. Yes. The, the, yes, you need the glove to yeah. break the blocks. So when you get these items, it just links just holds them in the air. You got this. It doesn't even give you a message. You got this. It's just yeah. It's just, just showing like Link holding up the glove. You don't even know what it is most of the time. But you can. Well, I, I mean, it's obvious what it is. Yeah, I mean, there's a hand, there's a hammer, the, well, whatever. The flute wasn't that obvious. Yeah. yeah what the, the fuck are you supposed to do with them? Yeah, you don't have the no flute idea. The was so stupid. You have to like play it in front of like a random spider on the. You whole literally. World. This game has a Snorlax in the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally. Well, it. this was before Snorlax, so Snorlax has a Zelda thing, but. I guess so. <laughs> what the exactly. fuck though? Like it. You don't know that! You know, the game yeah. doesn't tell you Well, the, like, the town tells you that the guy hates noise, so... Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you well, find, I... like, like, but you're, you find, like, these items in a dungeon, and you think, oh, well, like, you know, I played Zelda, you use this item to get through the dungeon. No, you don't. You don't fucking never. need it to get through like, the dungeon. Like, in, in, never well, in I mean, dungeon the do down, the, the that you breaking get. the blocks thing. The glove, yeah, that's the about the, the glove, only yeah, fucking okay. one. Uh, well, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. You get the raft, you get the fucking boots that let you walk on water and shit. Oh my god, that was Very even... strange. Jesus. Very strange that you get a bo boots and the raft. Like, Yeah. Why? <laughs> why? You get a raft that lets you go across water. You get a boots that let you walk... Walk across, like, an invisible path across the water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's so weird. You can use it, like, um, in, you know that island where, uh, you find the child? You can use it there, too. To avoid, yes. like, all the dun all the enemies. All but the, yeah. yeah, the weird, like, sections. Yeah, because yeah. you, you can just skip over the maze section. Yeah. Yeah, But those are, like, the only two places you can use. And there were no, again, that, I knew about that because I've seen people play it. I, I, I didn't even, did, there are there even people that give you hints that you can do something like that? Walk on water? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. 
they t they tell you. Well, I know you have to, but there are people that actually tell you. There yeah, are. You about have it, to so talk to the townsfolk, but the t but they're very like they're not very thorough in their descriptions. I, but it's enough. It's enough. It's not. It's, it's not so that's enough. impossible. It's yeah. it's usually enough. I'll say that. Yeah, like, I didn't find that person that cryptic. tells you about the water. So it's I, very minimum. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know that's we're accustomed to how games are now. But back mm. in the day, uh, they were a lot, a lot more cryptic and difficult. I mean, it wasn't Simon's Quest level of cryptic. But... No, it's not that bad. No, it's not. You have to stand and kneel in a in a corner in a random spot and have what a red fucking... gem equipped and kneel yeah. for five seconds, and then a tornado for... picks you up. <laughs> and the game doesn't tell you that at all. <laughs> It's not, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it, it's not easy. Not The combat's not easy. Some of the puzzles aren't easy to figure out, but mm. it's not impossible. Yeah. I did no. like, um, like, we were talking about the towns and the spells that you get in the towns. Like, a lot oh. of the spells are very useful. Like I do well, like the not, spells, yeah. Maybe not a yeah, lot. Yeah, the life like, spell was the best. Oh, <laughs> I love oh. that spell because I was using it constantly. I do <laughs> like the using that one, but the shield spell was, like, Basically necessary. It's a game like, every yeah. fight, basically. Yeah. The jump um, spell was helpful sometimes. The to... jump spell was very helpful to avoid enemies and you know yeah. do some environmental. The fairy problems. one was necessary to go the across some. The fairy gaps. one was so useful to avoid mm. enemies. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I use a lot so of magic much. though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. But like I, I like how useful a lot of the spells are. Yeah. Some of the spells I feel like not so useful. <laughs> yeah, I I was hoping Thunder would do more. Thunder is, is too expensive, <laughs> and yeah. fire is fucking useless. It's fire is only like the good. shield beam. F yeah, it's only it's only helpful for the very few enemies in the game that you have to use fire on. There's like two or three. Yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. Reflect is a, a little bit the same. Yeah, but it has at least like there's some it's like the guys that throw axes. At least with reflect. It doesn't reflect them back, but it makes it so that you can block them. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But, and you need it for that fucking one boss. Yeah, which that able. boss was easy as fuck because of that. Yeah. <laughs> you need it, and it makes the boss, like, extremely easy. Well, you can't beat it without him. Without right. Him. Yeah. yeah. I like I like bosses like that. It's like you have to do a specific thing, like a gimmick, to beat him. Well, I got to that boss without having reflect, so I had to go uh, do that oh, over, so it kind of sucks. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that yeah. sucks. Yeah, the, um... That boss was extremely easy with Reflect. And some of the bosses... It was weird to me, because some bosses were extremely difficult, and then all of a sudden you had a boss like that that was, like, really easy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, to me, the dragon guy, at first I thought, this is going to be impossible, but then he wasn't as hard as I thought. That was one of the easier bosses. Yeah. yeah. I, I like all these different bosses, though I don't like that the the horse the dark nut on a horse was a boss like it was yeah, cool the was... first time <laughs> you gotta fight him the three other... fucking times <laughs> and later on in the in the last dungeon you have to fight him three times i think mean, he's mm -hmm. extremely easy the next three, couple yeah times because you're more him. powerful yeah yeah like, like yeah speaking of bosses is, holy fuck. The, the, most... that, the, <laughs> the last boss not dark link because i knew the the cheap trick to beat dark link but that boss before him, fuck that thing. Oh, that guy wasn't that hard. I he, was had he was pretty easy. A sliver of life when I beat that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, thank God I know how to cheese this fucking Dark Link fight. Because they don't hate fucking heal you. Yeah. Well, I, I just... tried I tried to fight Dark Link the normal way. I'm like, nope, nope, not <laughs> happening. Just not I happening. Mean, <laughs> I went back after I beat him the cheesy way to fight him the normal way. And I, I got close. <laughs> 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 I mean, I would have beat him if I had the life spell, but you know, that's another thing. <laughs> True, but I mean, yeah, I just did it the cheese way. It, by the way, if you never play Zelda two, um, we're, we're talking about the cheese way to beat Dark Link is you just kneel in the corner and just constantly slash your sword, and he'll keep walking into you, and you'll beat him. That's it. Mm -hmm. End of game. Final boss. Bada bing, bada boom. You're done. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and you, you yeah. get the Triforce. And then you you go wake up Zelda and uh, the curtain goes down and you big give her a big smooch, I assume. Yes, sir. <laughs> we don't know. I'm gonna assume they smooch. Either that Smooching or Link got the hug. biggest scare of his life. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zelda was actually Ganon the whole time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
you good job you brought the brought the apocalypse um but yeah uh, the end of the game i mean it's an nes game so i really wasn't expecting a lot mm. it was fine you just wake up zelda and that's it so well, i was i was really impressed with like the great the great palace uh, like yeah. even though it was like a crazy maze like you can go the wrong way so many times and like it's a lot so... of the rooms look identical yeah a lot of the rooms yeah. look identical and um like even when you're going the wrong path it takes so long for you to get to the end of it that it seems like you're going the right way so it's kind of pain in the ass yeah but also, it was no fun map. to learn there's What's no up? map there's no yeah, map there's no as map. well so yeah that would have been helpful i mean at least zelda one has a map mm-hmm. yeah like yeah this game didn't have any sort of map at all um which the uh, the the last few dungeons get pretty fucking big Oh yeah. Yeah, and even like you, you kind of have to like memorize with the overworld too, like where everything is. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's pretty simple. Uh, after it's, a certain, after yeah. you get the hammer and the raft, it's pretty simple. Like you, you got the hang of it. Hmm. The me, I, I will say, um, graphics wise, game looked pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, the I, sprite I work like, and the animations were yeah, really nice. I liked how big and colorful the sprites were. Like Link, I like like sprites. The, the link sprite um mm-hmm. in the side scrolling section like he just he's big and well animated uh i think he looks really good and his sword like, should have been fucking bigger but <laughs> yeah. sword should have been absolutely fucking bigger um, i do like this uh there's this like one pose where he like has his sword hand back and a shield up like he does mm-hmm. it like every so like often. he's about to stab yeah 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 it's pretty cool i like that yeah mm-hmm. and the enemies are all well animated um even if they're a bunch of bastards Mm-hmm. And compared to the first game, um, the world map in this game looks a lot better. I'd say that. Yeah, so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'd say so too, yeah. I think it's pretty, like, rudimentary. For, I, I just thought it was, like, really simple. Like, there's, like, five different, like, sprites that they just use over and over as the world map, you know? No, but I mean, it has, like, you know, a swamp. It has, you know, some, you know, mazy areas. It has those cemeteries that apparently contain nothing. Um... <laughs> Some of them have like some of the it's just some areas will have a random oh you fell into a pit oh here's a point bag or here's a heart container or... yeah those areas That's were a... fucking weird yeah like you don't even see that it's different in the overworld like it just looks like a normal average tile like this grass tiles he is oh that's another thing I wanted to bring up too well yeah. like you like the secret areas in the world map you just walk into it and there's like a little secret it's like it's cool to find. But there was a hidden village that you had to find by chopping down trees with the hammer. Makes no fucking sense. I didn't even know you could do that. No. (laughs) It's so weird because, I mean, the game tells you to check in the forest, but the whole area is surrounded by forest, first of all. And second of all, you only use the hammer with rocks before this. Like, Mm -hmm. the game does not teach you well, like, what to expect at this point. Yeah. So, like, using the hammer on a tree makes no sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Especially you know, first... when, like, for other secrets, you just walk into them. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So I was so confused. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. And then, like, one time I accidentally, like, I was, like, trying to figure it out. And I just pressed B. I was like, maybe I have to press a button. And I knocked down some trees. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I can do that? I was like, well, I guess I got to try to find where this fucking place is now. But I remember when I first was in that area, I was, like, near dead. Like, oh, shit, I'm going to die, bro. I got to get to that town. I see the town. I finally get to the town, and I'm like, what is going on? I'm just getting hit by random invisible things. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, this guy's... Okay. I was so mad, because uh... I was almost dead, and then I died. Yeah, the dead town? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's a pain in the ass. And you have to get an item. I don't remember what the item was, but you it's get like an item. It's like a cross, the basically. The cross. Yeah, it lets, yeah. You see, lets you see them. Which, fuck those things, by the way. Those Jeez. things hit hard. Yeah, and they're... They have an annoying pattern. They just fly around, and you just... I swear they home in on you, and it's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Especially, like, the path to the Great Palace. Like, they're full, it's full of those guys, basically. Yeah. Those guys are a pain. And those things... Those, like, I like the sections with the giant gates with the little lizards that are, like, throwing rocks at you. But goddamn, they throw, they know where you're going with those rocks. Oh yeah, they're, they're <laughs> real good. You have to like they're stop, snipers, move yeah. back a little bit, wait for Yeah, you have to like kind of zigzag back and forth like a little. Yeah, like I just that's turned what I mean. my like, shields. I knew I was like, getting hit. Some of the areas are like really cool designs, like not just the world map, but like in the encounter areas, like yeah, with the you know with the gates, with the the forest areas. 
it was a forest area with like uh stone like kind of like stone hinges uh you mm -hmm. know yep. stone uh thingies yeah, yeah those were pretty like cool des desert area with like sandworms and stuff yeah and... i thought those were cool yeah mm -hmm. i mean like my my feelings for this game boil down to i do not hate this game but i also don't really like it <laughs> so it's it's I like mean... a I, I can't explain. I can't explain it's, it. I, I I know. I get what you mean. It's like, I it, I like the game. I like the direction it was going. I like the idea behind it. All the stuff it tried to do and what it is. But I do not enjoy it. Well, that's right. I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. very, very demanding. It's, it's very demanding. polarizing. Like, mm -hmm. and you ask anybody who's you know a Zelda fan or a Nintendo fan, somebody who's played like all the Zelda games. And you know, in, in Zelda Two is always like a up up in the air for a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a lot. It's polarizing for other people because it's not like other Zeldas. Yeah, which is and something I, mean, I don't credit, care about. You know, Zelda. Ze this was the second Zelda game ever, right? So right. there was no yeah. like. So they were experimenting. Like, yeah, there was no nothing set in stone for what the series is. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. or has to be. You know. Right. And obviously, after this game, they said, "Well, the first one was received way better." So they went back, and you know, here we got a link to the past, and you know how that goes. Game's fucking awesome. Um, yeah. So you know, obviously they they tried something different here. They they weren't sure where they were going with the series. They wanted to you know see what you see what they were doing. Um, it's just, I would, just, if anything, it's an interesting footnote in the history of the Legend of Zelda for sure. Mm -hmm. I would honestly like a remake of this game. Like I think it, it would if be they fixed yeah a lot better. of issues, then yeah, it would I mean, be much. That's great. implied. Yeah. Really yeah, good. right. That'd be cool. I mean, I would like to see that too. I don't know if it will ever happen, um, Doubt. Yeah. but it, it would be, be nice. Neat. It would be yeah. neat, you know, because uh, um, we've gotten remakes of Zelda games before. You know, we we recently just got a Link uh, Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in a in a weird way, a Link Between Worlds was kind of like a Link. To the past a link remake, between worlds is was like a yeah sequel. it's like it, it was kind of like a remaster kind it's, of it's a like, sequel but it's not it's really weird it feels like almost identical kind of it's but it, like it, the I same, mean, well not almost sort of. identical it's like yeah let's not get map. crazy i mean yeah link, link to the past is better okay let's let's be real <laughs> let's be real <laughs> link between worlds let's is a be very real good here. game yeah <laughs> it's a good game link to the past is better um 100 Sure. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Whatever you say. Million percent, actually. Uh, it's a Maybe whole other discussion. <laughs> but if we're talking, is Legend of Zelda mainline Legend of Zelda on consoles? No, no. If we ignore the handheld ones for a minute, um, I I think it's pretty easy to say Zelda Two is probably the worst. Mm. Ignoring handhelds. Oh, Ignoring yes. Handhelds. I mean, um, even, I even so. for me, even for me, if you include handhelds, I still think it's the worst. Um, but that's, you know, I mean, that's not saying that this game is super bad. It's just yeah, compared to Zelda games and the quality that they are. You know? Uh, well, I think it's still quality. It's just too yeah, fucking... Yeah, no, it is. It's, but it's too I mean, you're, you're comparing it's it too to unfair. Like best, some of the best games ever. It's It's just too unfair. It is. It's very, very grueling in terms of the difficulty. It's not fair at all. Yeah. And uh, it just has some bad design choices, honestly. Mm. Very bad design choices. Although I love like, the music, I lo absolutely love the music in there. Mm -hmm. uh, like there's if only they like made five game, tracks, but I like if, it. If they made this game that you never had to restart from the beginning, like you just restarted from the beginning of the palace every time, and sure, like. You didn't lose your your experience all the way. Maybe you lose the chunk of it or something like that. Like, I think we'd be a lot more favorable towards this and, game. And if Link had a longer sword. Link's, yeah, yes. increase Link's yes. attack range. Maybe make it so his projectiles do some fucking damage to all oh, regular I agree with Maybe all. the whole battle you know? system would be actually fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I there there are improvements to be made to make this game like substantially better. So remake this game. <laughs> Please, Nintendo. Um, so, yeah, is there any other points that you guys uh, really feel like we missed or want to hit? 
before we go into recommendations. Mm, 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 mm. No, I think that's it. Is it? All right. Well, now we're going to uh, tell you whether or not we would recommend this game. Um, I think this is, like, one that I'm not, like, 100% sure what you guys are all going to answer before we go into it. Like, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so, Ills, we're going to start with you. Um, would you recommend Zelda 2? Um, I'm going to say no for the average player and yes for the Zelda fanatic. Um, that, yeah. I mean, if you're crazy about Zelda, you really want to know what this game is like, uh, play it, play it all the way through, G get to know the feeling that we've known. But, uh, otherwise, if you have other games to play and you probably do, then no. <laughs> all right. Uh, Noah? Um, I'm going to be a little bit similar to Il's answer. Uh, normally I would say no, do not, but only try it and play it if you're actually interested on like the different direction that Nintendo tried to go with Zelda at one point. Mm -hmm. Only for like pure, like, if you just cu if curiosity to see what it's like. Like what yeah, Zelda could have Yeah, just wait for the remake. Been. Yeah, d yeah, just wait for the remake. <laughs> so, not that there is one in development. Please yeah. do not. Go you heard it here first. first. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not spreading fake news. Fake what? news. But yeah, um, um, pretty much that. Right. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's going to be way too frustrating and it's not going to be a enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to have to. I mean, I can't really disagree with what you guys have said really i can't i mean i feel the same way um i would not normally recommend this game to to, to just about anybody uh, but yeah if you're a hardcore zelda fan you want to know about this game you, you should you owe it to yourself to at least check it out um because it's not going to be bad but uh it's, you're going to be in for a very difficult time yeah. um, a world of hurt prepared. it's just prepared. so vastly prepared. different from all the others diff zeldas yeah yeah least deserves a look yeah uh, if anything but normally uh, I would say wait I will say I, I feel like now how you know just playing it again I'm playing it all the way through um, maybe I don't hate it as much as I did um, but like it didn't like convert me or anything you know it's not like I feel wow I, I can't I was so wrong all these years like I'm like <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it was a little hard on it but it's still you know yeah um, I mean, there's a certain sense of satisfaction of getting through, like, palaces sure, and stuff like that. Sure, like, it feels sure. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, now we're going to tell you how we really feel uh, when we put Zelda 2 Adventure Link on the list! The list! The list! Uh, so you can follow along with the list in the paste bin below down in the description. Uh, so go ahead and give that a click so you can see uh, what we're talking about. Um, every single week on the Game Club, we add the game that we played to an ever-growing list um, that just goes on and on. Uh, it's going to go forever. Uh, so that goes from the beginning to the end, uh, what, what we like the best, all the way down to what we hate. Um, so yeah, it's ever-growing. Ever uh, we add to it on the regular episodes, but more importantly, we add to it every game club. Uh, so now it's Zelda 2's turn to be added to the list. And Ills, looking at the list, um, what what are you feeling? Uh, where do you think? Give us um, a starting point. Yeah, I'm looking at the 140s. Um, this looks like the the right area for it. Like, uh, it's it's kind of similar to East One. Um, I don't know if I'd put it that high though. I, I might put it like mm. right above like uh, Jackie Chan Stunt Master, maybe. Yeah, that's, I mean that's pretty low. Um, <laughs> I mean, but... yeah. <laughs> like I no, said, I'm... it's like that's the thing with Zelda 2. It's like it has a lot of cool, interesting ideas. It has cool music. The visuals are nice, but it's just the main core gameplay. It's just not the battles. The battle system just does not work. It's not fun. It's very frustrating. And like it was pointed out, you have to put in demands way too much effort to like make it enjoyable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... It's like when a game does that, when you like try to like push through it to get somewhere just to, for the sake of being, it's just not a not a pleasant experience. I did not have fun. And if I didn't know half the stuff that I knew already beforehand about like the secrets, it would have frustrated me even more and I would have hated it even more. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't know any of those things. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, it's really a game that um, almost begs for a walkthrough. 
Um, yeah. Because that's, you know, how... Like, imagine to be... trying to beat Dark Link without knowing the cheese. That trick. It's yeah. doable. I mean, it's doable. It's doable, but considering you get you fucking die all the time, you get sent back at the beginning of the dungeon constantly. I mean, that's what I always said about Zelda <laughs> 1. The, the last dungeon, the, the spot where it is. I was like, mm -hmm. how would you find this? Mm-hmm. Without a guide. I had yeah, to like, use a guide. To a lot Zelda of things, one. that's pretty much with Zelda 2, is like a lot of things, you just, how the fuck would I have known this? How the well, fuck would have I found this? No, I think that almost never happened to me. Like, there was only one time that ever happened to me, and that was with the, the Hidden Town. The, mm -hmm. Every other time, like, the game gave you enough clues. Usually. Except for, well, you didn't get the life spell either. Uh, yeah, you didn't get no, the life No, I mean, the game either. told me that... I, I knew that I was missing the mirror. I just didn't know where to look. Yeah. So yeah, that was the one thing. But I mean, that didn't break my experience of the game. Like I didn't need the life spell to beat it. Mm -hmm. I certainly fucking did. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's like the most fucking useful spell. Oy. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I, I, mean, I, every time I found a red potion. I was like so relieved. I was like, all right, life spell. Use up all my magic yep. before I pick this red potion up. That's like fucking well, godsend. Sounds yeah. like a good experience that I never got to have. <sighs> um, I don't think, you know, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad spot for it. Um, so you said above Jackie Chan's Stun Master, right? Yes. Okay. So Nintendo Land. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can agree with that. Nintendo Land is better. Mm -hmm. Nintendo Land had a lot of cool, unique ideas, and it was fun at the same time. Even though it was a completely different thing, but it was a way more enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo Do Land doesn't really have necessarily a lot wrong with it. Besides, mm -hmm. some of the games are like like a miss, you know. Um, and it doesn't have like my my main issues with Nintendo Land is there's not a lot to do outside of like you know there's you get a couple hours of enjoyment from the things that are there that are good, and then outside of that, it's just like okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's not frustrating, at least. Yeah. Well, we should put Nintendo Land above God Hand then. <laughs> I would, I would <laughs> listen to that argument. That's for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know why. Uh, well, Nintendo Land was one of those games that we placed very early, so it just got pushed down to where it is now. I think so. it did. Yeah, yeah, I think it did. Um, I mean, Nintendo Land, I'd be willing to move it's up. A few it deserves like, to go up, maybe yeah. like ten spots. Yeah, I see a few yeah. games here, like the need to go up to maybe Intelligent Cube. Uh, maybe not that one. Why not? It was a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hunters. Uh, <laughs> Hunters needs to go down. Don't even yeah, start. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They need to be moved. I didn't necessarily need to be moved up. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, so, I mean, like, let's say Nintendo Land is a game that we think deserves to be moved up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we ignore that because, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to do, you know, where you, you get stuck on a game, but then, you like, above it, you think it might go above it. Like, do you think uh, all the games above it, it deserves to be below? Like, Mark of Cree, Second Sight? Cree I, Cree yes, Cree. I would say I so. I think it definitely deserves to be below Mark of Cree, yeah. but Mark of Cree needs to go up like five spots. Well, like, I agree where Mark of Cree is, but at least with Mark of Cree, even when it comes to the gameplay, like, half of it was stupid, and but the other, like, the stealth part of it was really fun, too. So it kind of, like, it had its fun moments and its frustrating moments, you know? Combat I mean? was frustrating. The, combat the was actual frustrating. actual normal but, combat yeah. in that game was frustrating. But you weren't forced to do the combat most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you were actually good at the game, you never had to. <laughs> <laughs> Except yeah. the last fucking the last three game. hour Except level. the last level. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Yeah, I think that's good then. I think I agree with that. Uh, I'm okay with that spot, so. All you right. guys all agree? I know it was obviously because like, that's where he wanted it originally, but. Mm -hmm. Do we. Noah? Was there an argument to be had for Jackie Chan? <laughs> Not to me. I, it just feels that's... so bland. Like, Jackie Chan feels yeah. very bland. Like, it has frustrating platforming moments, but I like the combat. It was fun. That to too. Yeah, and I like the fact that Zelda 2 has, like, good ideas and mm. interesting, like, level design ha it has palaces. more going on for it than jackie chan did. Mm. yeah even though it's more frustrating than jackie chan it mm. i feel like yeah it's it's more of an interesting experience than yeah. jackie chan yeah yeah i'd say so okay yeah right. i'm i'm good with this above jackie chan all right so that puts uh zelda 2 at 149 on the list uh sorry zelda 2 adventure of link 149 the adventure so 
the adventure link. Yes, it is the adventure link. Um, so surrounding it is uh, number 147, which is the Mark of Cree. Uh, that was a game club game, by the way. Uh, so you can listen to us uh, talk about that in depth if you'd like. In the club um, zone. In the club zone. Uh, number 148, Nintendo Land. Uh, number 149, Zelda 2 Adventure Link. Number 150, Jackie Chan Stuntmaster, also a uh, Game Club game that you can listen to. Uh, and 151, 1 2 Switch. Um, so those are, that is the list, uh, kind of near the bottom ish, because uh, there's 167 games on the list. Uh, but the more we add. 172. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep forgetting that. There's an extra page down there, bro. Uh, 172. So yeah, I mean, it's actually, it's actually pretty decent. You know, it's, it sounds low, but it's not that low. And the more games we add, uh, theoretically, the, the, less, low, the less low it'll get. Uh, if, we, if we keep adding bad games. Uh, uh, but, yeah, because you guys only add good games on the podcast. <laughs> excuse me, look at my name right there. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we also just added... Uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival pretty recently as well, so. Um, now, before we go, uh, we do just got to go through a couple of things. Um, if you, hey, if you enjoyed the Jump Up Supercast Game Club, uh, make sure you check us out on your favorite podcast listening of, uh, listening service of your choice, including SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, um, where new episodes go up of the Game Club every other Thursday, as well as the Jump Up Supercast episodes, the, the regular episodes we do, the weekly ones. They go up every single Monday. Uh, give us a follow, a like, a share. Uh, feel free to let us know what you thought about Zelda 2 Adventure of Link if you ever played it uh, down in the comments below. Or does it sound cool? Do you want to play it now that you listen to us talk about it? Just let us know. Uh, hey, support us if you enjoy what we do uh, on patreon.com slash jumpupsupercast where for $1 a month you can get to choose... Uh, one of our game club games every round and speaking of that's coming up i'm about to talk about it in just a second here because it's uh it's a patreon pick uh you can also follow us on twitter facebook instagram stay up to date on everything jump up supercast related uh you can catch us streaming once in a while here time to time on uh, twitch.tv slash jump up supercast um and uh next game i'm gonna talk about that real quick uh like i said patreon pick it was time again. Uh, our last Patreon pick was Silent Hill 2. Uh, played that game. I really liked it. That was great. It went, was a got a pretty game. decent spot on the list. You know, mm -hmm. um, Good game. Uh, so hopefully uh, Patreon pick doesn't let us down again. I mean, doesn't let us down for the first time, not again. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hopefully they keep the streak alive and, and keep picking good games for us. Did um, you announce the person who won? Uh, well, yes. Um... Mitch, or Cuban, I don't know if he, what he wants to be called, but we're going to just gonna call, him, call him Mitch for uh, ease. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Mitch won the raffle this time, uh, and he picked Star Control 2 for us to play. Um, I don't know a lot about this game. Um, reading about it, though, apparently it's supposed to be good. So, hopefully it is. I mean, I've, what I read, I read good things about this game. Uh, it's a Although, I, like I said, I've never even heard of it before this. So yeah, maybe, I've never but, heard of it either, so I have no yeah, idea what to But, I mean, expect. it's an MS-DOS game, so it's a classic. It's it's an older game, uh, but, you know, and obviously I wasn't really into PC gaming back then, um, so kind of went 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 away and no, no, didn't really hear a lot of people talking about it, but apparently it's really good, so um, look forward to that. That's what we're going to play next episode, um, so... Thank you, Mitch, for uh, being a Patreon supporter. We really do appreciate it. Um, so we're pick you're, we're playing your pick next time. Um, looking forward to that. And you can catch us uh, here on the next episode. And as always, though, uh, I want to thank uh, Ills and uh, Noah. Thanks, guys, for uh, playing games again. Uh, and more importantly, I want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, so go out there, play some video games, play some good ones, hopefully. <laughs> and... Um, Wash your hands and uh, be nice.